So I just gotta tell y'all about my birthday the other day. My daughter, Buffy Jane, and my grandson, Remington. Why she named that boy after a shotgun, I will never know. Every time I hear his name, all I wanna do is go shoot me a cane. Well, anyways, my other daughter, Rowellen, she was out of town on business. And she'll usually take me somewhere kind of nice, a little fancier, you know. She'll take me over to Applebee's. They got that two for 20. You get you an appetizer to share. You each get an entree. And then you get to split a dessert. It's a pretty good deal. Well, Buffy Jane's idea of taking me out is she'll take me over to McDonald's. And she'll say, now, Mama, pick you out five things from the dollar menu. And that equals up to a pretty good meal. So I take her up on it. Well, this time, she takes me out to this big, long buffet. And that sucker's never ending. I don't know where she got the money for it. I don't dare ask. Well, anyways, they had the best little salad bar up there. They had them, them crumpled up hams that you put on top. Amazing. Well, anyways, we finally got to, to the good part, you know. And, and I got me some white beans and some cornbread. And I put a little onion in there for flavor. Well, I finished my cornbread before I got done with my beans. So I said, now, Remington, why don't you go get Mamo another piece of cornbread so I can finish my beans? And he said, yes, ma'am. So he gets up, very polite little boy, he gets up, goes up there, and he's up there for a while, so I'm thinking, well, he's getting him a second plate. So, you know, he's a little chunky. Well, he comes back and he says, Mamo, there ain't no cornbread. And I said, well, yes, son, there's got to be. I've been sitting here eating it with my beans. Well, finally, the little feller come over to fill up my sweet tea, and I said, no, sir, my grandson says there ain't no cornbread on the buffet. Are you going to put some more up there? And he just looked at me, and he said, well, ma'am, I don't believe we have any cornbread on the buffet. And I said, well, yes, sir, you do. I've been sitting here eating it. So I get up. Arthritis killing me in my left knee. I knew it was going to rain. Well, anyways, I get up there, and I'm traipsing up and down this buffet trying to find the, the cornbread. And finally, I remembered I got it at the other end. So I told him, I said, now say, sir, here, right here it is. I'm not crazy. I'm not going senile or nothing. And he said, well, ma'am, that's our white cake. You know, that white cake mix that, you know, for the desserts. And I thought, well, I thought it was just that, that cheap Jiffy. Well, I mean, Jiffy is good, you know, but I thought, you know, because they have to make that stuff in large quantities. So I just thought, well, that's what they did. Well, I went ahead and just brought me another piece back. I'd already been eating it with my beans, so I thought, well, what the hell? So I went ahead and finished it, and finally it come time for dessert. And they had the biggest dessert bar. I mean, every dessert you can think of, but they had this little pastry up there. And it had this pink icing. I'm thinking, you know, it's going to be strawberry flavored. So I get it back to the table, and I take a bite of it, and it had just the weirdest flavor, almost like, like bland, you know, it had the, the consistency of like a sponge cake, like a, one of them angel food cake things, and well, anyways, I'm like, I tell Buffy Jane, I said, Buffy Jane, why don't you try this, and tell me what you think, and I said the same thing to Remington, I said, try this, son, let me know, because maybe my taste buds are going out on me, well, he says, well, Mimo, this is nasty, and I said, well, I know. He said, you need to try the chocolate cake. And I said, well, I will. So the little feller come over. I looked at his name tag. It said Raymond. I said, now, Raymond, can you tell me what kind of pastry this is? Because it just, I ain't trying to be a picky customer or nothing, but it just ain't no good. And he said, well, ma'am, that's one of the, the decorations that we put on top of the buffet. And I thought, well, that's where I got it from. Y'all, I have been eating their decorations. Buffy Jane, she sat down in as low as she could in that chair, and poor old Remington, he's a ginger, you know, his face was as red as his hair. Well, anyways, I went and got me some of that chocolate cake that, that Remington was telling me about, and it was very good, it was very moist. I know people don't like that word, but it was, it was very moist. But anyways, I got home, and finally I heard from Rowellen, and, you know, she wished me happy birthday. I don't hear from her much anymore, you know, she thinks she's better than everybody. But yeah, so the moral of this story is make sure everything you eat at a buffet is what you think it is. If you're eating cornbread, make sure it ain't dessert. And if you're eating dessert, make sure it's not inedible. So all in all, I had a pretty good birthday, and, and I thought I would share it with you and tell you a little story.